So right now I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and this phone has a 200 megapixel camera on it. And I wanna compare this camera to this one. So this is a Fujifilm GFX 100S. This has a 102 megapixel sensor on it. And so with this Samsung, uh, not all the cameras on here are 200 megapixels. It's just the one that is a 23 millimeter full frame equivalent. And so the lens I'm using on the Fujifilm is a 30 millimeter, which is a 24 millimeter full frame equivalent. So I figured that's pretty close. We got 23 uh, equivalent versus 24 equivalent. And from what I've gathered, you can't shoot raw with the 200 megapixels on the Samsung. You have to shoot JPEG. So what I'm gonna do is shoot JPEG with the Fujifilm as well, just to kind of balance it out a little bit. But yeah, we'll uh, take some different shots and do some comparisons and see the results. So for this shot here with the Fujifilm, I'm gonna focus on these trees kind of right in this area right here. And I'll go ahead and take the shot. I already have it set up. All right, so here's the Samsung. So I'm gonna go ahead and focus on that same area there and take the shot. All right, so for this shot here, I'm gonna focus on this line of trees kind of right here in front of the mountain. Focus right there and take the shot. All right, same thing here with the Fujifilm. Gonna focus on these trees right here. And take the shot. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of do sort of a close up here of this bark and this moss. And I'm gonna focus right here on this little um, bare spot there, the bark. And go ahead and take this shot. All right, same thing here with the Samsung. So I'm just gonna focus right there. Take that shot. All right, so for this scene, I'm gonna take a couple shots here. I'm gonna do one where I focus on this rock in the foreground. So just make sure I'm focused, it looks good. I'm gonna take that shot. And then I'm gonna do another shot where I'm focused back there in the mountains. Looks good. And let's take that shot. Now with the Samsung, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna focus down there on the rock. Take a shot. And then I'm gonna focus up here on the mountain. Take a shot. All right, so for this shot right here, I am focused right here, kind of in the center of the river there where those rocks are at. And we go ahead and take this shot. All right, same thing for the Samsung here. Just gonna focus right there where those rocks are at. Take a shot. All right, well, I think that's enough shots for now. So let's go ahead, jump into Lightroom and compare some shots. All right, so here we are in Lightroom and let's go ahead and just jump right into it and do some comparisons here. So this first shot, so we got the Samsung on the left, Fujifilm on the right. And if you remember, I focused kind of back in here uh, by these trees here. So let's just zoom in right there at 100%. And right away I'm noticing just how soft the Samsung looks over here versus the Fujifilm over here on the right. You just, you can make out the individual branches here. A lot of detail in this bark right here. Whereas the Samsung, it just kind of just looks smudgy. Just doesn't look that great to me in comparison. Yeah, I mean, the mountains, you can make out all this detail back here. Yeah, let's look at kind of this area. So you can see this this area here just looks really soft on the Samsung and it just looks nice and crisp over here on the on the Fuji. Now you can see the resolution difference here, 
you know, the it looks a little bigger. It looks bigger on the Samsung because of the resolution difference, 200 megapixels versus 100. But this 100 megapixels looks way better. All right, let's move on to the next image. This one right here. And I focused kind of down in these trees for this shot. So let's zoom in at 100% here again. So we have these trees kind of side by side and it's really the same same story. The, the Fujifilm is just so much more detailed. So, so much sharper. Yeah, everything just looks a lot better on the Fuji. Look at some of these details in the, the peak back here. Let's kind of look at this area. So it just, it just looks soft and there's not a lot of detail there. Whereas the Fuji just looks really nice. But you know, if we look at it globally like this, it's very, very hard to tell the difference when you're zoomed out all the way. You know, you really have to kind of go in a little bit to, to tell the difference. But really, you don't have to go in too far. I'm at zooming into 25% here, and already I can see a pretty noticeable difference there. All right, let's go ahead and move on. So we've got this uh, bark shot right here. And I focused kind of over in this area here. So let's go ahead. Let's zoom in to, this is 50% resolution here. And I just want to kind of match these up. Let's go in, let's go into 100%. All right. So here we go. In this bark, you, there's so much detail here in the Fuji. Samsung is, I mean, there's some detail, but it's just, it's just night and day comparison here. And just look at that difference. Kind of zoom out just a little bit. Just want to look at some other areas. So like, look at this, this bark kind of right here versus over in here. Just so much detail in the Fuji film. Yeah. All right. So uh, this next shot here, if you remember, I had focused uh, one once on the foreground on the rock here, and then again on the the mountain in the back. So what we'll look at first is the foreground. So let's go ahead. Oops. Where is it? There we go. Yeah, look at that, that difference. We're not even 100% here, so this is 100% right here. The Fuji is just killing it. I mean, look at this, this rock here. It just kind of looks like smudges here, whereas on the Fuji, you can actually, it just looks really good. Same thing here. Big difference there. Let's move into the, the next one where I focused on that peak in the background. And yeah, just a huge, huge difference here. I mean, it's really just not even close. This Fujifilm camera is pretty amazing. Now I would say that I will say that this Samsung is it's okay for a smartphone, but it just doesn't compare to this Fujifilm camera. All right, let's go ahead. I've got a couple more shots to look at. So this one here, I don't think I showed you in the video because I my uh, I forgot to plug my mic in actually, so I didn't have sound. But I do want to take a look at it. And so for this one, whoop, let's, uh, let's kind of zoom out. So I focused on this white area just to the left of the moss here and so let's go ahead and take a look do you want to go in at 100 percent 
And just look at that difference. I mean, this just hard to make out a lot of that detail there on the Samsung, whereas the Fuji, you can just make out all these lines, all these little cracks. And these things are tiny too on that bark. But the Fuji is, is picking it up real nice. And then look at this difference in the moss. Just a huge, huge difference here. Alright, and then this next image is the last one. Let's take a look here. Now for this one, I focused over in here on these rocks, so let's go ahead and zoom in there. And oh yeah, look at that. Just a huge, huge difference again. kind of look back in the background you know everything stayed really crisp with the Fuji things are really soft here with the Samsung but again you know if you look at it on a global level like this it's it's pretty hard to tell the difference you know so I would say you know the Samsung is is very good for a phone for sure but you know what on once you kind of look Look at things a little bit closer there's just really really no comparison all right well i hope you guys enjoyed that if you are into landscape photography make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and i will see you on the next video